Hello, welcome back to Crafting with Lydia. Uh, this is my second uh, video. Uh, I did a peacock and I'm gonna show you today how to do the bird. After you cut it from the cardboard, uh, the way I did it, I put wire around it. I use the uh, flower wire and I don't draw much I just go and uh, bend the wire around the shape I want it and this is what you end with now to make the bird I'm going to use the fiber fill and uh, just to give you a little 3D dimension on it. I don't want it to be too flat. And I just apply glue. I'm gonna start with the head. Just apply a little bit of glue on it. And then put your fiber fill on it. Not too much, it's a, a thin layer. This is my first time doing any arts and craft, and the reason I'm doing a peacock bird is because I want to use this on my Christmas decoration this year. And I'm making two of these ones just for my staircase. It will be combined with another Christmas uh, flowers and uh, just to bring the colors of Christmas on it, mostly green and blue. Alright, I think this is enough for the bird. Right here. This, it's not gonna, this is supposed to be a detail, but I'm not going to add anything in there right now because there's another layer of fabric uh, paper that's gonna go on the top. Okay, after you do this, uh, I go ahead and uh, start adding the fabric. This is the fabric I, sh I have chosen. It's, it's, uh, it's enough uh, thickness on it, not to slide from your fingers. And uh, I'm going to, actually I'm going to go ahead and cut out this tail right here because it's going to be in my way. Oh, excuse me about that, I'm sorry. This is not going to affect the shape of my burr. Because another piece similar to that is going to go on the top. Okay. Uh, you actually need like a half a yard of fabric if you're going to make the burr, if no less than that. Then what I do, I just cover the burr like this. I turn it over. And I start up adding the fabric in the end. This is the part that's gonna be so difficult to do, but hopefully work out good right now. Then I started with the edges right here. Put a little bit on the edges. Put your fabric in here. Like that. And what I do to bend the fabric, you just cut a stripe, a stripe like this, lines. Now it can bend. Just a little bit of fabric, just in case you have to redo it. And put back the fiber fill inside. Okay. 
okay I think this is too much in the edge I'm just gonna cut a little bit here just to make it round all of the shape cut here I tried to do um, just cut the shape in the fabric on the fabric and then use the fiber fill and that will be it but it didn't work out it might be look I don't know it looks horrible <laughs> so this is the easy way for me uh, it's not these ideas are just come to me and uh, I have not taken any crafting classes yet, just the ones I did back in college, but you know, it's not like a, but now that I have more time, I wanna do arts and craft. Hopefully I get better as I go. And uh, I will do a video uh, once a week for you guys. Maybe somebody want to actually do what I'm doing, learn and have fun. That's pretty much the purpose of doing our craft, having fun. You can choose the color that you want of the bird. This is the closest I could get to teal. I want it to be a little darker. I'm, I'm actually, I'm making five picket birds for this year. Christmas decorations. And I don't measure, I just go for eyeballing what I need to do. I think that's the easy part. It, this is the fun part to do arts and crafts. Make it easy and fun and pretty at the end. If not, redo it. <laughs> I'm going to be making a Easter bunny for my granddaughter and uh, I saw a tutorial yesterday and I think I, I'm going to try to do it live, that one, but my style. Because I like to use uh, fabric and gems or ring stones to do stuff. Okay, uh, my fabric is just going old. Here, let me see. Push it. Okay, on here you're gonna cover this piece later on. So you don't worry about that one. If you know a better way of doing it, let me know in the comments below. I don't want to put too much glue in the edges just in case I need to pull the fabric from, from the back, but uh, so far you can, you can see the puffiness already. That's, that's what I want. And... Uh, It has to be flexible because it's going to be on the staircase by the poles of the staircase. And uh, the area is not so thick. Okay, let me see. Now, look like uh, my fabric. On. Okay, I'm gonna make it work because this area is so skinny. If I need more fabric for the head, I just can put an extra piece on it. All right, I'm going to do the neck area. See, the shape of the bird is like, like this. Some people make it rounded, but I think this is the right size, the right shape. Right. 
put it right here. Make a cut right here just to bend it. And if you need more filling, if you wanted the the bird to be more stuff, just add more at the end. You just need to push it with a pen or something long. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna cut this piece right here. It's on my way. I'm just gonna go around here. I used to know how to do this sewing, and but I had not done it for very long that probably I forgot. But I did have fun in my arts and crafts growing up. I just like it. Uh... Okay, I'm gonna put a little bit more over here. Push the fiber fill inside. Don't let it touch on the cardboard. I think I got enough fabric right here. I think the poster board is easier to work with because it's more flexible than cardboard. And uh, it's easy to cut also. And it's more flexible. It's right there. Okay, let me see. I'm trying to motivate my granddaughters to do um, any arts and craft and creative activity because one of them. She liked uh, to draw Japanese cartoons, but uh, we'll see. This is my second video, and uh, we'll see what what they want to do later on and by themselves. I will help them. They push the fiber fill inside. I know the. I will. I will do the pick later on. That will be at the end because the chair has to be right, right. Okay. I'm not gonna cut this piece right here because I have to bend it around the peak. So far so good. It's not too wrinkly in here. Anyway, all this area is gonna be covered with a different fabric. I think I got too deep in the edge. I should have done that. Look like it's gonna need more fiber filling here, but I will do that later. I just need to attach the fabric first. Need to cut more. Actually, I'm gonna cut this in two pieces. Oh, that's better. Now, do you see this piece right here that's missing on my neck? But it's all right, I'm gonna, all these wrinkles in here are gonna go away when I fill it up with more fiber filling here. I have to, but I'm gonna leave this piece right here. If I'm missing a piece on my neck. I'm going to go ahead and add another piece of fabric on it, on the top of that. And solve the problem. That's it. I think this piece right here will do. Okay. As long as at the end they look pretty, that's what matters. Alright, that, that kind of taking care.
Troika. Then I'm gonna pull the other side like that, a little tighter. And the good thing about this fabric that you put the fabric, uh, the glue on it, and you press it, you don't burn. Because the fabric is thick enough to protect you from, from that. Okay. And you know, putting the wire on the poster board, it helps you a lot just to keep the shape. So tiny, but that's the way it's gonna look. I don't want it to be any bigger than this. Okay. Whatever let's start fabric, you turn cut it off later. If you don't need it. But this one can cover the back, the back of the bird. Screw it. See this extra piece right here. Make sure you secure this piece. I'm gonna keep cutting these pieces right here a little bit and a little bit right here just to fold it right at least to glue it back in there to secure it for now and the reason I don't cut the fabric or the shape or the bird before I glue it is because uh, I don't want to use too much fabric that you have to cut a bigger piece and then redo it and cut it back again. This well, you just glue it on it and cut whatever you need to cut as you, as you go. Okay, then this piece we're gonna, I need to leave this open a little bit because I want the pick to be a little thicker than what it is right now. Okay. I'm not going to glue anything here and I'm not going to cut anything until I actually secure the, the made the, the pick the way it's supposed to be. Okay, the neck doesn't look so well, but as I said, I'm going to put more feeling on it. Okay, so this is the way it looks right now, but I'm going to show you the twin brother. <laughs> this is his. his the twin brother, look, same bird. You see the way it look. I'm going to cover this up, but this is the way it looks right now, and this is the way it's gonna look like. See, look at the pig the way it come up with. This is the eye area, the neck. It's still a little wrinkle in there. I should have put more feeling in there, but I didn't. And this is the way it's gonna look. Now, this piece right here is a separate piece that I already drew. And uh, actually, I have to redo it, just come out from my paper. was right here but somehow it can just cut it up. Just like this. And like a tail shape. Okay, see this Similar to just actually like this one right here. Then we're gonna try to copy the same, the same shape 
right here. I'm gonna go ahead and redo this piece right here. It doesn't have to be exactly like that, or it's similar, you know? Because I'm not measuring anything. Okay, this that's the line that I need. And then what you do, this is the from here to here, that's what you need, and then you just go as wire you want. Like that. Very easy, you don't need to even measure nothing. Right there. Now this piece should be attached to the burr. I'm trying to make it happen. Mm, I think it's good enough. Maybe a little thinner. I think this is better, like that. It looks like it's bigger, super big, but... Then I'm gonna cut this edge to make a little rounder, round this corner like this. place it like this actually I need I need I need more body on here let me see have when you see the pickup bird they have uh, the wing and then this area right here look like I have a bunch of little tiny feathers all here and the tail start from here that's the way I, I saw the picture see that's what I picked this fabric right here you can even, if you don't want it blue, you can ch change it to dark purple if you like it. Or you can pick a fabric that have a darker color than this. Okay, this piece right here, th no, it got to be a little thinner in here. More pointy. to see. Oh, it's about right. Oh, you see that piece right here? I missed that piece right there. This should be a little longer. Okay, doesn't matter. I'm, just, I'm gonna leave it like that. Okay. I think it will work because actually it's, no, it's too straight. I need a little Not like a wing right here. Oh, this is better. Oh yeah, this is this will work like that. Let's see. Okay, now this piece I did the same thing uh, with the burr. I'm going to put the fiber fill on it, put the glue on it. Have a little bit on it. It's a little piece for a long way. Right there. That's good enough. Now for this area right here, uh, we're gonna cover it in this fabric. Let's turn it over. This fabric is so easy to work with, even a little bit mess when you cut it, but it's thick enough, it doesn't go anywhere, doesn't move. And right here, let's add a little corner right that I can use. And here, yes, I'm going to go ahead and cut the piece that I need. Like that. 
You know what, I'm not satisfied with this. It's enough. Like this. Now I'm going to cut. Do the same process uh, putting the edges. For the back, I'm going to use just a plain green fabric, and uh, but I will do that at the end. to cut the edges but when anyway did it not too much glue just tap it like that okay after you glue the bottom this is what you end with like that you're gonna apply it to the burr Attach it with glue like this. Like this. Now the next step is to make feathers that come up from here. I'm making my own with uh, this and uh, the green fabric. Then what I did, I cut it this way. Just like it. This this uh, side like that, and uh, you're going to try before you start doing any fabric on the board board uh, cardboard. Uh, you put it right here to see if it's going to. Okay, you're going you're going to glue this piece on here like that to make your feathers. Okay, uh, this this part is really uh, hard to do because I couldn't find these light green feathers that I'm making my own. And uh, you cut the piece according to what you need. Now I lost the piece what I have right here. I have another piece right here. You still need to try. See, this one will work. The only thing we need to do is to run it out more like this, like a wing, like that, okay. Now in this piece, what you're gonna do, you either use hot glue, uh, tacky glue, or you can use the easy spray one. Uh, this one I did it with hot glue. I'm gonna try this glue, I, I don't know. Actually, let me try this spray. Oh, hopefully, we don't make a mess in here. Put my glasses on. Oops. You know what? I'm gonna use my finger just to. Okay. Huh? Smell bad, but. Need to be fast. Need to be fast with this. Oh, I didn't have a clean here. So I have a clean right here. Okay, grab your piece of fabric and glue. And the reason you're gluing this fabric in here is because you're gonna be cutting in little tiny pieces and you don't want the edges to, to come out of it. Oh, actually the, the spray glue work better than the super glue. You see no markings in here? In the previous one, you can see the markings of the glue in there. Oh, I'm happy with this. 
I'm new in doing arts and crafts and getting familiar with all the tools and materials that you need. And uh, I'm, as I go, I'm gonna get better. Right now I have more time in doing arts and crafts. I enjoy, I enjoy doing it. And uh, if you never done it, go ahead and try. It's fun. Then you cut at the edges right here. Very quick. Nothing need to be perfect. Just if it's good enough and you're happy, that's the, that's the way it's gonna be. Okay. Ready. Okay, to make the uh, see, I start doing this one already, and the way you do it, I'm gonna cut this piece right here. Now, here you're gonna need the hot glue. Okay, have to glue every single piece. I'm gonna do it for you. And this is a yarn that I got at Hobby Lobby. Uh, usually they're close to $7. But there's a day during the week that they have a sale of 30% off. Always buy your, your turn. Products on, on sale, your, what you need, your materials. Because it's, remember, you just doing stuff for yourself. I'm gonna add a little more glue in here. Just to be careful when you spray, not to get it all over. Okay, that's enough. Okay. And don't put too much glue on it, just a tiny bit. Look like any more hot glue. And this is what I keep my in my tomato case. I keep the glue on it. I think it's easier. You know what it is, and it's not hard to reach it. If you don't want to do the fabric and the and the poster board or, or the yarn, what you can do is to get foam, glitter foam. The thinner the, the better because you can ch shape. I couldn't find any any foam that have these colors that I'm using. So that's what I'm doing my own. Now let me see. I'm gonna glue this piece right here. Now you're going to see if you want it this wider or I think two wide is not good enough. You have to go like this. Okay, you find your shape of the feather. Now you're just going to go as fast as you can with the glue. We start gluing. This yarn is so delicate. I tried to make uh, feathers with this, um, but it pull out. if you touch it too much, it's gonna start pulling out from here. But because the color, this is the color I needed, I, I got it, I bought it like that. Okay, this is your feather right here. Too much glue in the corner. You can cut that piece or you can continue bring it down and do three more the same one. But I'm not gonna do that because I'm trying to keep the video short. They actually 
I'm not gonna cut right there, but I'm just gonna show you. You cut right here. Like that. And this is your feather. If you want to put fabric on the back, go ahead and do that. It, sometimes I do it, sometimes I don't, it depends. And this is gonna go like this, like that. And you put this one in here. After you cut it, uh, same thing with my other piece that I was doing. And then you bend this one the way you want it, like that. Then you will have your pretty feathers under the bird. You need another piece in here and you're done. Now the next step, uh, actually, we're gonna go ahead and do the tail for the bird. Put this aside. Then you have an idea what to do with the bird decorations. I got this fabric at your end. I only bought half a jar because it's kind of pricey and the reason I got it because you had this design like this that is similar to the eye or the picket feather just you know I like it and what you do you find the line right here like this you cut it all around it you cut all this Start cutting in between each one as much as you can. But you don't need this black transparent fabric right here. Okay, when you cut it, uh, next step is to wire the fabric. Here's another piece right here for the wing. Okay. Uh, I use flower wire or you can use this one as uh, cloth stand wire. You can use either one. The after you wire, you still need to cut all these pieces right here, like that. And if you later on you're gonna need like this piece right here that is long, you're gonna need a piece of wire right here, and probably another piece of wire right here like that and after it's cut uh, the next step is to add your feathers this is the reason I choose this color is because this fabric right, ha right here have a, this kind of blue and also my bird uh, fabric or the body is kind of green blue same with this one right there this, I think these colors will match like this with the fabric. Then when you are chopping, uh, just make sure you mix a little bit of uh, the colors combine a little bit together. Okay, uh, usually these feathers are $3.99 uh, Hobby Lobby, but uh, Michael's is $10 plus, Joanne is $10 plus for the same fabric. I was able to get this for $5 in, at Michael's on sale. I was surprised. But was this the only color? This is what the only one they had. This, I have been there like three different stores and they don't have this color. The, what you do, you either cut the thread that is in here, or you can, if you come out, you pull it like this. Uh, the feather is kind of twisted like that, but no big deal. After you have all these spaces cut off, you're gonna start adding your, see right here, in this area right here, there's not gonna be any fabric. That, that's where you're gonna glue, you grab the, put the feather like this, straighten them out. Make sure all the hairs come, come to one side before you glue it. You glue it right here. Not, I put too much glue on it. You don't need it. Okay. Like that. And this feather is going to go to the other side, to the front of the fabric, and it's going to come this way. 
Then you can add feathers. After you put the wire right here, you can add feathers underneath here also. Just to give it another kind of color on the fabric with these feathers. Okay. When this is done and you put all feathers in between like that, got all this black uh, fabric right here, uh, we're going to need a uh, wreath ring. I got, I thought it was $2.99, but now I pay $3.99 at Walmart. And uh, you will need a wire because you need to hold the fabric in, in some kind of wire. Can you get three pieces? We're gonna start, well, it depends how long the tail is, right? This is gonna be long. The probably I'm gonna need the bigger, according to whatever size of the fabric you're using, that's the candy ring you're gonna need. All right, you're going to start gluing right here and hold. You have to accommodate the fabric and the ring like this. If you think that you don't need, no, you need to cut this because you're gonna put the feathers. You have to cut it either way. That when this is done like that, and the three rings are done this way, then you attach it to the to the back of the. This is the tail of the bird right here. You're gonna be start attaching. Actually, the ring needs to be secured under the bird like this. Like that. And then you have to be the other side. They find your side, but it, I mean, right now it's backwards, everything, but this is what it needs to come up with. And to embellish it a little more on the rings with the feathers, I was able to find at the wedding section and uh, Hobby Lobby. Uh, this is a table, uh, no, this is a candle ring. Usually, these products are expensive because it's for a wedding, Heath and hers. $9.99 for one set, but it was $2.49 in sale. You always go and get your sales. Otherwise, you're gonna be spending too much money on your projects. And, uh, after this apply right here, okay, with your feathers and your fabric, then you're gonna start applying, make it sure you bend it a little bit. And uh, you can, actually you won't be able to glue this because this is like a metal plastic, I don't know what it is. And, uh, just tie it up with either uh, anything that you can find to tie it up with. That will be fine. Like that. Then you go around it, you make your own design. Or you can go the same way I did it. And uh, you can look at the picture and you can see what I come up with. Like that. But it has to be in one sec. It has to be this way, going this way. No, that way. That all the the stones so gen gen need to be showing this way going in a circle. Same thing with the other two rings. And uh, you get pretty good amount. These ones are all together. They come on. You have to get the, uh, this is a wire right here, but all these pieces that they were in is attached to each other like this. Then you have to cut the, cut the thread in between and separate each one. It's kind of tedious to do it, but because sometimes you don't find the end of the the wire. Actually, it wasn't even a thread. It was a wire that you have to cut, just like this one, very thin. You have to find the end and then start cutting the pieces like this. And that's it for now. 
So this is the project for my second bird. Uh, you can use whatever fabric you like and whatever colors you think they make you happy and this is the way you want it. This, but this is an idea how to make a pickup bird. And each ring needs to be secured with a plastic uh, stick or whatever you want it like this and make your own shape going from the smaller like that. Let's see. But I have any room here. You start from the smaller then you move to this one and then you bring the big one like this. Just like that. Going this way. Okay, this is uh, the project I'm doing. I hope you like it and try to do it. And uh, have fun. Enjoy your shopping too. That's, that's the best part for me. I like to shop a lot. Uh, before I go, I want to share with you because, you know, you're sitting here and it's, uh, the heater is on, my nose get dry. A friend of mine, was, she gave me this. It's an aroma diffuser. And I'm really happy with Put a little bit of water. You got your controller. Uh, you get uh, your uh, oil right here. You put a few drops on it. Uh, your water, you have the measuring. And... You just uh, turn it on, put the light on, change, and this could keep the air moisturized and also at the same time, um, it helps you with your breathing. And it smells so good because I'm using the sandalwood forest uh, oil, warming oil. You can get this any place you can get this. It's not, it's not too much. I don't know how much she pay for this, but I will find the link in Amazon, and uh, hopefully you can find it too. Look, it's so tiny. Look how many colors it changed. So pretty. It smells so good, and the air is fresher. Okay. Well, thank you for watching, and I hope you see my next video. I will be making... Uh, Easter's uh, Easter basket, Easter bunnies. Uh, we'll see an Easter reef. Hopefully, you enjoy uh, you join me next next time and uh, have a blessed week. Thank you so much for watching. God bless.